My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network of the Marketer. Network All right, Marketer. welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so in a little bit of a different situation on the next handful of episodes, I'm currently on the road. I am at my mom and dad's place. So if you're watching this video, you'll see that I am not in my normal quote unquote studio situation. Um, there will be also, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, some background noise, people talking in the background, my mom and dad watching TV, dogs barking, um, much less controlled environment than my usual, usual situation. Um, but I definitely wanted to continue to get these episodes out and not miss a day, right? We're, we're, we're I think, reaching, uh, as of this recording, uh, close to 170. Um, and that really means like, okay, so at about the 180 mark, 100, between 180, 185, um, that we're going to be six months in on this uh, on this amazing journey with Path of the Network Marketer, um, the podcast. So definitely making a lot of progress, making learning a lot of stuff and, and continuing to discover just new avenues and new aspects of this huge, huge picture that is online marketing, that is social media marketing, influencer marketing, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, uh, obviously, the next big step is the masterclass. If you haven't registered, go to ronniecruz.com slash masterclass. I'll leave a link in the show notes of this episode happening February 27th through March 1st. That's right. It's a three-day masterclass, one hour a day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, a lot of people were worried um, that they couldn't make those times. And so I, I, I want you to know that you can still register because I will get, be, be granting access to the replay for anybody that registers, right? So um, even though you can't make those times, I don't expect everybody to be on there at 11 a.m. every day, and that's Eastern time, right? So uh, people out West are, are really screwed. Um, I don't expect you to be there every day uh, for, for those sessions live. Um, you can definitely tune into the replays if you register. Again, that's ronniecruz.com slash masterclass. I will leave the link in the show notes. It's uh, if, if you don't know what that is, uh, what the class is going to be about, it's, uh, it's called Influencer Masterclass. It's going to really, uh, I, I'm really just going to talk about what it looks like to be an influencer, what it looks like and what it means to be a content creator in the modern age in like in terms of um, being able to create a following, create an audience and, and build an influence. And, and uh, well, yeah, with the intention of of uh, growing and, and leveraging that influence um, if you so choose, right? I think that's the power of everything that I've learned in the last 12 months. And I'm pouring it all into this masterclass um, uh, that's happening February 27th through March 1st. So that out of the way, <laughs> I know it's a lot. Um, I want to get into t branding, right? Shift gears a little bit um, and talk about branding. Um, that conversation comes up a lot. And when I first... Really, I mean, when I first started looking at the internet all those many years ago, I think 15 years at this point, um, when I first started my YouTube channel for business and, and really tried to get myself out, out there, it was all about branding yourself, right? The conversation was, if you're, if you're taking your business online, you gotta brand yourself. So I really wanted to address that because obviously in 15 years, that conversation has evolved and has shifted. Um, I think when I first got into online marketing and, and putting myself out there and content creation, um, I, I thought branding, my notion and my, my concept of branding was uh, very superficial, right? Like the logo, what it looks like, the, the design, right? The website, the, um, the, you know, even like the funnels and how it flowed, right? And, and so, um, you know, that's not an incorrect answer. I mean, that's what we think of um, uh, as consumers w when we hear the word branding, right? We, we see the, the Nike logo or we see the Apple, right? Like it doesn't even have to say Apple. You just see the, you see the logo, you see the branding. Um, you see, what, what else? Coca-Cola. I mean, like when we think of brands, we think immediately of, um, we associate that immediately with the, the design, you know, aspects of it, right? From a, like a graphic design point. Um, and, and the aesthetic, there you go, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and again, that's not incorrect. However, it is the superficial um, uh, uh, part, right? It's only like, the, it's just like the, the surface level of what branding really means. So in our space as content creators, what does branding mean? Okay, so yeah, well, obviously there's the superficial, but beyond that, we have to really kind of dig deeper because if you, if, if, you you have the most amazing um, you know design and 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 graphics et cetera et cetera, um, but you have no substance, then it doesn't necessarily mean that that you've got uh, you've got good branding, 
right? So, so for me, branding beyond the aesthetics um, really has to, we really have to address and, and pay attention to and hone in on the substance that you're bringing to the table. Right? And, and so when it comes to substance, it's really, yeah, what's your purpose? What's your meaning? Right? What's, what's the mission behind what you're trying to do? Right? What's the, what, what are you trying to accomplish with the work that you're doing? Right? What's, um, what's the end goal? Um, what do you stand for? What is the voice um, that you have? How are you going to com be communicating these things? All, all of these characteristics, characteristics and traits um, um, are what kind of create the brand, right? Like, like it, it's the brand is more of an idea um, and and a concept than it is an actual brand, right? Yes, again, that's that's part of it, but that's only that's only the the superficial part of it, right? That's only the aesthetics. Um, you really have to get down to. Um, figuring out who you want to be for the message you want to deliver and the purpose that you have with your business. Um, really, really important, like the character of, of what you're bringing to the table, your own character, right? Are, are you going to be a person of, of high character um, uh, or otherwise, right? And, and, you know, like this is no judgment. Um, it's really up to you what you want to bring to the table depending on the needs of your particular business and, and how you want to come across. Right, like there, there are um, influencers that run the gamut. Uh, obviously, there's there's people that uh, that leverage the sheer volume of attention and eyes that are on them, and and there there are some that want to leverage, um, you know, their 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 character and again the 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 value that they bring, the mission and the importance of that. Right, so um, it's really up to you to decide. One thing I want you to understand is that, um, well, you got to be willing to commit to whatever that is um, full on. And it's not that you can't change, um, but you got to really, you got to really put yourself out there. Again, um, if you're, if you're dilly, if you're, if you're tiptoeing around the substance that you're trying to bring to the table um, with your, with your branding and, and with, um, yeah, with, again, your mission, your purpose, your, your, your the meaning and the message, um, then it's not going to ring true uh, and, and it's not going to land. It's just not going to land on your audience. So you have to be fully committed to whatever the branding um, you, you choose or evolve into, right? Like it doesn't obviously necessarily happen overnight. Um, you kind of develop that character and, uh, and not in the sense that you're portraying something other than you're not. Um, other than who you are, sorry, um, it's it's just like your overall character, who you are as a person, and and what you're willing to display. That that evolves and, and develops over time. But the main thing is you got to be willing to commit to that fully, or else it it'll ring untrue and then it won't land. So that's my perspective on branding. Um, obviously, that can uh, again, it, there's no right, wrong or right answer as to. Um, which one to choose or how, what angle and what direction to go with your branding. It's really just a personal choice. Um, obviously with me, I mean, like aesthetics is not a big deal. <laughs> like 99% of my videos that, that you see me in are either in a hoodie or a t-shirt and I'm always wearing a beanie. So like aesthetics is not important. The content for me is what I value the most and, and so that I can deliver um, uh, the, the, the message and therefore uh, fulfill my purpose and my mission. Right, like like that's primary. It might may not be the case for everybody, right? Like may not be the case for everybody. But you get to choose how you want to leverage uh, the these platforms and and your online content um, with the branding that uh, that you uh, decide to run with, right? So that's my message for for this episode. Tune in tomorrow for more. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.